Hi, welcome back to Tiger Tech Videos. In this video, what I want to do is talk about Google Classroom and how to use the calendar that's available now in Google Classroom to keep track of assignments with students. So there's two ways to get to Google Classroom. You can click on Apps. You can go down to Classroom app here, or in the bar at the top, you can type in classroom.google.com. So what I'm going to do to show you this, I have several classes here. Some are from my previous year of last year, and some are from other classes that I'm either a part of or I am one of the teachers for that class. But what I'm going to do is just start with a brand new classroom. So if you've never done this before, it's very easy to start a Google Classroom. You click the plus, which says create or join a class over here on the right hand side. And I'm going to sit, I'm going to hit create class. And for this one, I'm just going to say um, example class period three. And then you can put in more information here if you want to for that specific class. And I'm going to hit create. So after it creates the class, you should see a screen pop up and it will say invite students. It said add students on the people page or give them the class code to join. I'm going to say got it. OK. And so here's the class code right here. And it's kind of small. So if you want to see, if you want to display it for a classroom of students coming into your class, you could just simply click on this expand button here. And I'll do that again. You click on this display and it pops up in a larger font so that it's easier to read and and put in for the students so if you have a large class instead of adding each individual student you could have them simply type in this code and join your class and they could do that just by again going to the classroom app just like you did or typing in classroom.google.com and then they can go there and join the class another way to do that also is if you want to invite a student in the future, you can go over here to people, and then you can see I'm listed as a teacher here. If there are several instructors, if it's a co-taught class, you can add teachers here by inviting them. You can invite students here by searching by their email, and it should pop up. If it's in the Fleetwood directory, their email will pop up, and you can invite them, and that'll send them an email inviting them to, this, to join this class. Okay, so once you are at this point, go back to the stream, you can do some editing here. You can change, you can see select the theme, upload a photo, so you can personalize this any way you want to. After you have this set up, you're gonna see that there's four tabs at the top. We have the stream, which is basically announcements. You have classwork, people, and grades. So the new one here is grades. That's something that's a little different. I'll get into a video on that in the future, but today what we're gonna look at are some of the options that are available through classwork. So if I click on classwork here, when I do that, you see Google Calendar pops up. That's where you're gonna find the calendar and class drive folder. So these are kind of new options that weren't really available in the past. And so what you wanna do here is you can create an assignment. Um, so let's say you created, let's, let's do a hypothetical assignment here. And I'm just gonna say um, example assignment, real creative. Okay, here's my example assignment. And I'm going to make this, let's say it's the beginning of the year, I'm going to make it an ungraded assignment. You can put a point value here if you'd want to. And I'm going to set a due date that is a little bit out. Let's say, let's say it's um, next week. Okay, so this would be next week. And I'm going to close that. So it's due September 16th. You can put a time in here if you want to. I'm going to say it's due on Monday. Okay. So after I'm done, I can also put this under a certain topic, you can create a topic for these. So let's create a new topic. And I'm going to say this is um, introductory. I'm going to say unit one. So let's say it's part of unit one. Okay, so now I have ungraded, I have the due date. Let's try that again. Due date September 16th. And Okay, there it is. So September 16th, my due date. Topic is unit one. Please complete and submit. And hit submit when you are finished. Okay, so now all I have to do is hit assign. 
There are also several options available at the assign point there where you can assign it for a specific time and you can also add a Google Doc where that you create a copy for each student. I'll get into those in, in other videos, but in this one I want to talk about the Google Calendar. So the reason I set up this assignment was so that we could look at the Google Calendar. So if I now click on Google Calendar, when it opens up, you're going to see a list of all of the calendars that you have. And there might be a pretty long list, especially if you have a lot of classes that are listed under Google Classroom, whether you're a part of that class or it's one of your classes that, that you've created. So what you want to make sure is if you want to look at just at that just that class that you just created, make sure you don't have these other boxes checked. You want to make sure those are all unchecked and only the class that you are concentrating on at the time is checked. That way you can see what what is available or what's assigned for that class. So you can see here on the 16th, this is the assignment we just talked about. And you can see the due date. So the students would see the exact same thing when they clicked on a calendar, they will see just the assignment that you put in there for the 16th. Now, if you want to put something in this calendar that's different than an assignment, when we go back to classroom, when you hit create, there are different options here. So you could put in a question, material, things like that. So there are some other options you could try to put in there for the, as part of your calendar. What you want to do if you want to give them a reminder, let's say a permission slip is due and it's not really an assignment. I mean, you could put it in as an ungraded assignment, but if you didn't want to, if you want to do it an alternative way, you could click on a date. Let's pick the 19th here and you could click on the date. So you could add to the calendar this way. We're going to type in hand in permission slip. Now what you want to make sure you do is down here, change this to just be on the calendar for that class period. That way it'll just show up in that class period and in none of the other places. That's an important step. Now there's a lot of other things that you can add here, a lot of other details, but if you just wanted to have it show up on their calendar, you would make sure you pick that class. And then I'm going to hit save. So now you can see with my visibility that for this new class, example class period three, I have an assignment for the 16th and I have this showing up as just a reminder hand in permission slip. If I go over here to the left hand side and I uncheck the box, those disappear because now I'm, I'm not able to see that anymore. So if you have multiple classes, which many of you do multiple periods, you would want to make sure that you just are being careful when you go in there under your visibility that you have the correct class checked and that you're entering the information for that specific class period so that you don't get them mixed up. You can always double check that by having a student go in and see what it looks like from their end, have them look at the calendar and see what it looks like. And then you can verify that what you posted is actually showing up on their calendar. Okay. I hope that got you started on how to use calendar in conjunction with Google Classroom. If you have any questions, please email me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org, or you could leave them in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Until next video, take care.